This big oak tree in my yard was begging for something fun underneath it. So a few months ago, with the help of my dad and brother, I built a deck. You built a deck? When? <laughs> Today. Today? I took a nap. You built a whole deck? This video was sponsored by Cabot, so let's jump right into the staining process. We have got the deck clean. I've got these skirt boards, the little trim boards on. It's ready to go. So first thing you wanna do when you are staining a deck is this is a pressure treated deck. I'm gonna need to give it some time to season. Wait, what the heck is seasoning? We let it sit out here for six months and season, which gets the uh, basically the chemicals in the pressure treated wood to dry out enough so that it's ready for stain. Otherwise, if you try and stain this too early, you're gonna get a blotchy appearance. It's not gonna stick. It's not gonna look good at all. So pressure treated, you gotta think, you gotta give it some time. Now I've got a large enough deck. I'm using Cabot's uh, semi-solid stain. So I've never used a semi-solid. I've used their solid, I've used their semi-transparent, but a semi-solid is gonna show a little bit of the wood grain, but it's gonna obscure a decent amount of it too. And because this is just pressure treated pine, it's not the most beautiful wood, not like a cedar or something like that. I thought the semi-solid would be a nice option. It's gonna blend the two woods together, get rid of some of that green color, the pressure treated. The one trick you gotta think about it is if you're using multiple cans, like I've got two cans here, I am gonna have to mix them together because you don't wanna get like half the deck one color and the other half very, very close. Whenever they mix these, it's close, but never quite the same. So you mix all your batch together, whether that's two, three, four gallons, you wanna mix it all together and put it on as one application. Now this is a single application stain, which makes it really nice and easy to put it on. One coat, that's it, let it dry. You need a dry day, I got plenty of sun, and you wanna avoid the direct sunlight as much as possible. I'm under this big oak tree, so it should turn out pretty well. I've got good protection, just kind of dappled sunlight. It shouldn't dry too quickly. So we're gonna to get to staining and uh, see what you think of it. After I mixed up both gallons, I applied the stain using a flat pad applicator since everything is basically a flat surface on a deck. Then I would come back with a two inch natural bristle brush, touching up the spaces between the boards before the stain had time to dry. It's really important to keep a wet edge on this and not let it dry because this is a one coat application. Two coats are not a good idea. So you have to work in manageable sections. For me, that was two to three boards at a time. The whole process was very simple and only took about two hours for the entire deck. After finishing the walking surface, I did the trim boards and then moved on to the posts. It's really important that you give at least 24 to 48 hours of drying time with no rain before you're finished. Two days of drying later and I was left with a much nicer deck that's not only protected from the elements but blends in better as well, at least once our azaleas fill back in. If you want to learn more about staining pressure-treated lumber and the products that Cabot has, then check out the description for links to some helpful resources. And also, don't forget to subscribe for more DIY content.